An underrated function of the patella is its role in facilitating the extension mechanism of the knee. To understand extension, we must go through some basic physics to learn about levers. Levers rotate due to an imposed turning force, which is called a moment. To calculate the moment of a force, one must measure the force exerted and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. In the case of knee extensions, in order for the tibia to turn relative to the femur, a moment must be exerted on the tibia. Here, the pivot is in the center of rotation of the knee joint, whilst the point at which the force acts is at the insertion of the patella tendon at the tibial tuberosity. Let's first imagine a scenario where the patella doesn't exist and the quadriceps tendon inserts directly at the tibial tuberosity. When a tensile force is exerted by the contraction of the quadriceps, the orientation of this force means that the perpendicular distance between its line of action and the center of rotation is very small. Looking back at the equation for a moment, the short perpendicular distance would mean that a very large force would be required to extend the knee. When the patella is present, the elevation of the tendon away from the knee changes the orientation of the force exerted onto the tibia. This increases the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the center of rotation, lowering the amount of force necessary to rotate the tibia. In conditions where the patella is significantly displaced from its physiological position, such as in patella alta or patella baja, this affects the moment arm of the patella tendon, which can result in complications such as an extensor lag due to the increased demand on the quadriceps for knee extension. This video provides a basic appreciation for the function of the patella in a 2D sagittal plane, when in fact the patella moves in a three-dimensional plane as the tibia has axial rotation relative to the femur during the movement of the knee joint. Also note that the position of the patella and the site of the axis of rotation varies through different ranges of knee flexion or extension.